Hello and welcome to the second part of my speedrun tutorial for Half-Life 1. So the first thing you want to do when you get in-game is press escape. Then you want to go to options. You want to go down to jump and duck. You want to bind this to mouse up, to jump to mouse, uh, mouse wheel up. And the, the, the crouch or duck to mouse wheel down. Uh, the secondary key bind will be bound through the console later. So don't worry about that for now. Then you want to go down to the bottom and you want to bind quick save and quick load I got quick save on C and quick load on V then you want to go to mouse make sure that the mouse look is on and the raw mouse input is on as well I use 3.5 sensitivity with a 400 dpi next go to audio make sure that you can hear it really important we are going to use the audio throughout the run a lot to time stuff so make sure you put it on a value that you can hear next up video make sure that the vertical sync is off then uh, the rest is just personal preference that's it for the options now hit apply uh, next you go to your console pressing the tilde key on your keyboard so first, you want to type bind C, FPS max 20, bind X, FPS max 99.5. This is really important. We are going to use this bind a lot throughout the run to do certain tricks that requires it. Next up, you want to bind your secondary jump button and your secondary crouch or flash duck button. So first we do the jump one. You want to type bind space plus jump. <clears throat> That's um, what most people use. But I use uh, mouse 2 for jumping. Next up, uh, you want to bind the crouch. So you do this bind ctrl plus duck. I use uh, space. Because I'm a weird. Um, oh yeah, the last bind, really important, the most important one probably. This, I will uh, include this in the description below, so you can just copy paste it. So, the first command will put us on the map that starts the run. The second command will make sure that uh, it resets, like the timer resets whenever you restart the run. The big Stiha timer 1 will make sure that the timer shows in game when you run. The BXT timer start will make sure the timer starts, it starts basically. The auto stop 1 will make sure that the timer stops when the, the run is completed. When you, yeah. So the auto jump 1 and the auto jump prediction 1 is for the auto jump that we are going to use really important so now you press enter and you close down the console now you press O on your keyboard to start the run I will go through the run in the next episodes or parts so see ya in part 3 and good luck